Sir, can I ask you to exercise your power understanding order 22-1 to reinstate the question time today to one and a half hours for the PQ so that the PQs on the issue of the Israeli Hamas content for the character and citizenship education can be clarified. I'm sure many Singaporeans would like to know more, but looking at the order of the oral PQs today, the related PQs are unlikely to be answered today. So can I have uh, my request, uh, sir? Our question time has been allocated as 30 minutes. I would like to keep it as it is. If there are questions which have not been addressed adequately, they can always be filed. There was, I recall, quite a bit of discussion earlier um, in, in the previous few days' debate. Uh, so I would like to keep it as it is so that we do not change the timings that were originally allocated for the rest of the debate. Yes, Mr. Leung. Uh, sir, this is a very important issue uh, which has attracted a lot of uh, uh, concerns from Singaporeans. I think the Minister of Education had mentioned during the COS that the PQs will be addressed today as well. Uh, if you don't want, uh, it is just a simple act of yours to extend the timing. The PQ timing anyway was originally one and a half hours. If you don't uh, uh, want to exercise that, then can I have your assurance that the related PQs will be at the top of the queue at the next sitting? Thank you. Mr. Leung. These questions, as if I recall, indeed was addressed during the MOE's uh, Committee of Supply debate. Uh, and I think there were qu certainly questions and clarifications that were sought during the Committee of Supply debate. Um, uh, and I will keep it as that. And as I've said, I'd like to keep our question time to what has already had been allocated from day one. And if the proceedings today are fast enough that we can cover as many questions as we can, and which is how I've always tried to progress all debates. I ask for PQs, and in fact, you yourself sometimes ask very long clarifications, and that takes up time. My style is to allow as many PQs to be addressed in each question time. And I've always asked whether it's during question time or during committee of supply to keep clarification short. And likewise, I ask the responses from the front bench to be also short. So let's try to progress as fast as we can. And as I said, I think there was some discussion earlier on this subject. If there are other PQs we raise in subsequent sittings, we can always, it will be dealt with in accordance with the rules and standing order.